All right, let's keep cracking with our problems. Page 41, section C. Samantha has 640 bits and Holly has 761 bits at first. They mix their bits together and use 276 bits for a craft project. Then they use and then they packed their remaining beads equally into 25 packets. How many beads were there in each packet? All right, very simple, right? Samantha and Holly, they had 640, 640, and 761 at first. So totally calculate 1,401. They had a total of 100. 1,401 beads. Right now they used 276. 1,401 minus 276. And this is the leftover. 1, 1, 2, 5. There were 1,125 beads left. Right? And the rest they packed into the packets of 25. So what do we do? We take our amount of leftover and we divide it by 25. The answer is 45. That's your answer. 45 beads in each packet. Okay, next problem. Um, Jason had $48 more than Helena. Helena had 25 more than Bill. After Bill spent $45, Helena had three times as much as what Bill had left. Right, how much money did they have all together at first? Okay, this is a comparison model. Uh, at, at the start, right, what do you have? You have three people. There is uh, Jason, there is Helena, and there is Bill. Okay, so this is what you do. Let's, let's think from the start, right? So Bill, has a unit and he spent this amount of money and they tell us how much he's, he spent and we can draw that this this block kind of disappeared right so this is $45 $45 after Bill spent $45 he had some certain amount of money which we assign as one unit we think of it as one unit because they tell us that Helena had three times as much as what Bill had left. So we have this one unit and for Helena we draw three units, three similar units, right? And they tell us that also before that she had 25 more than Bill. So this difference over here, right? So if we think about this difference, this is $25. So lastly, we just know that Jason had 48 dollars more than Helena. Very simple, we just draw totally same units as her, three units. He had the same amount of money plus this extra, how much? Extra $48. And they're asking us how much is total? How much did they have total? Right? <clears throat> so clearly we can see from from here, right? Let's let's pay attention on this part. <clears throat> um, we can see that this unit and this unit they're the same, and these two units, this one unit and this second unit, they consist of these two sums of two amounts of money, forty-five dollars and twenty-five dollars, right? So this is what we write: two units is forty-five plus twenty-five. These two units, these two units, 45 and 25, right? 45 and 25 dollars, right? It is 70 dollars. Now, how much is one unit? If two units is 70, one unit is 35 dollars, right? Now, they're asking us, uh, how much is like we we need to calculate the total right so we can see how many units do we have one two three four five six seven seven units total we can calculate them seven units if one unit is 35 seven units is 35 dollars times seven 
which is $245, right? Those are our seven units. And we have an extra, extra of what Bill has spent, $45, oh, sorry, $45. And we have an extra of what Jason had more, $48. So this is what we do. 245, 245 that we just calculated, our seven units, plus 45 that Bill spent, plus 48 extra that Jason had. The answer is $338. They had $338 altogether at first.